What's up everyone, my name is Mario, welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use Tilt Shift Blur instead of Gaussian Blur. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. So I'm in Photoshop CC right now. This is, uh, I believe, the latest version of Photoshop to be released right now. Uh, whatever the most recent update is, is what I have. I'm going to be using this uh, Kiwi Strawberry PSD. I made this design in a face-off between uh, Crazy and I. He is, uh, his Twitter is at visualsbycrazy if you want to go follow him. So yeah, I made this design when I was in a face-off against Crazy on my Twitch channel. Uh, you should go follow me. It's twitch.tv slash Graphics. I stream every now and then, you know. You can follow my Twitter for more updates. Links are in the description below. Something I did differently with this ad that I didn't usually do was that I decided to use a tilt shift blur on the uh, kiwi and the strawberries in the background. And I used tilt shift because I remembered that uh, if you use it in a certain way, you will get these sort of bokeh on whatever object you're blurring. So in this case, it's the uh, the strawberries and the kiwi. Uh, since my light source is coming from the top left here, I uh, decided to use the tilt shift because with the bokeh, it makes it look like a uh, light is being reflected off of the strawberry, which in real life, that probably would be the case. So just to give the ad just a little more detail and you know, a little more uniqueness in a way, I use tilt shift. The majority of people would be using like Gaussian blur and the reason I didn't use Gaussian blur is because it kind of just universally blurs the whole thing. So I'll show you on a strawberry here. I used a uh, smart filter so I just have to quickly clear these. So I have the strawberry right and if I go to blur Gaussian blur and just blurred it you start to lose all that detail and if you do it if you increase the radius enough it just totally disappears. So Gaussian blur won't keep your object like intact so it'll just start getting like more blurry and blurry until it's like completely gone right so you don't really want that plus it doesn't save a lot of detail so what i would do and what i did was go to filter blur gallery tilt shift so when you open up tilt shift uh, you get this whole different sort of ui right first thing you're going to do is click high quality that's just you know, it's self-explanatory, it's a higher quality blur. And what you're gonna wanna do is take this point, uh, click the point right in the middle, and then just drag it out of the way so that it's above the object. And what you're gonna notice about tilt shift is that there's these lines. There's a solid line here and there's a dotted line here. Anything beyond the dotted line is completely blurred to the max. So like I have 15 blurred, or I have 15 pixels set as my blur. So everything beyond this is blurred by 15 pixels. So what you're gonna wanna do is take this dotted line and then move it up so that it meets the solid line. That makes it so that the whole thing is blurred 15 pixels. Now, depending on your design, I'm just gonna leave it at 15, uh, 15 blur. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is go to the effects down here where it says light bokeh and bokeh color. What you're gonna wanna do is just as a baseline, start out at 50% for each. And actually I'm gonna drop this down to about 10 just to get some more detail in the strawberry. So as a baseline, you want to start with 50-50 and then just keep increasing it. So the lighter it goes, the more that like some points will shine, like this point here. Bokeh color, that will make it so that um, more of the colored bits will start to pop out. So you, don't, you really don't want to do it too much. I would say try to increase the bokeh color because that is where you're going to get the detail without increasing the light bokeh because then... When you increase this, it makes it all bright and overexposed, unless that's the look you're going for. If that's the look you're going for, then uh, yeah, go for it. But I'm gonna use 50% for the light and then probably around 75 to 80% for the uh, bokeh color. And when it's all done, just press okay. And obviously in this, I had to like change all the lighting around. So I had to, you know, obviously composite it with the background and whatnot. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you do tilt shift blur. I highly recommend that you guys use this blur. It's uh, really, really effective in making your stuff look a little bit more unique and a little bit more cool. Hey, my music different, I'm right. Hey, my music different, I'm right. 